Hello, in this session we'll talk about union and union all set operations. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Following are the set operations that we will be studying. Union and union all will be addressed in this session and then in coming sessions we'll talk about minus and intersect operations. In our schema we have four tables right now. Course tables storing information on courses, student tables storing information on students, team table storing information on teams and student underscore course table storing information about relationships between students and courses meaning which student is taking which course so let's say this simplified database design is for a training school and they offer instructor led courses now they have decided to offer online courses and this database design has to be modified to accommodate the information on online courses there are various factors that may dictate how this database design would be changed but ideally this course table w will now have an additional attribute maybe online flag if it's marked yes then this is an online course otherwise this is not an online course so if I right click on this course table and click on open content this will give me the the data in this table so right now there is no column uh, dictating whether this is an online course or not so maybe we can create a column here if it's marked as yes then that means this is an online course otherwise this is an instructor led course but for the sake of creating a ground to understand the set operations we will assume the way we modified this database design to incorporate online courses was by creating an additional table and we can call that table online course and if a student is taking online courses we can create another table to store relationship between students and online courses maybe we can call that table a student online courses so let's create another table with the same structure ID name description and fees so I can right click on tables and choose new table I will call it online underscore course and the first column would be ID, varchar and the maximum size is 3 and let it be a key column it's declared as a primary key and which automatically means it's not null meaning null not allowed so each value going into this column has to be unique then let's click on this plus sign second column is name and maximum size 30 let's add another column description maximum size 50 and the last column would be fees and the type is integer and that's it now I can click on this green sign and a table has been created okay now it's time to insert some data into this table so let me right click on tables and choose refresh now I will be seeing this new table in the list and right click on online course and click on generate and choose insert statement so let's say we are offering an online course on project management so IDs will start from one onwards because this is a separate entity online course then course so IDs could clash but they are separate entities uh, so that's okay and the name of the course project management and description would be project management as well let's run this okay we have an error let's take a look at the error okay so fees I forgot to enter at the end let's say this is thirty dollars and now it's okay no red line and let's say we are also offering SQL course online as well okay so if I go back to the data for course table here you can see SQL is offered as an instructor-led course and ID is 1. Here I'm going to insert another 
row and ID doesn't matter because as I said online course are different entity in this model so here the ID would be 2 and the course is SQL and description would be SQL commands and this one is let's say $30 as well so let's select this line and run this line okay so now we have enough ground to start looking into the set operations so let's do a few examples now if you're asked to create a list of all the courses that you're offering through instructor-led program how would you go about that so it's a simple select statement so let me just remove all these insert statements select star from course this will give you everything that course has but we are only interested in in the names of the course so let me first run this statement so we get the whole data in the course table ID name description and fees so let me go back and let me change the SQL a bit so that we only see the columns we are interested in so we are interested in in let's say name and description and run this command so this gives you the list of all the courses along with the descriptions that we are offering as uh, through our instructor led program now if you're asked to create a list of online courses how would you go about that so let's go back to the SQL tab let's copy this whole select statement below and ch change the table name from course to online course and that's it everything else will remain the same so if I run this select statement the second one now you see the list of online courses so if I ask you to give me one list of all the courses that the school is offering no matter through instructor-led program or through online program I need one big list and I am not interested in the in the information whether these are online courses or instructor-led courses I just need one big list how would you go about that so let's go back to the SQL tab so what I want to do is I want to combine the results coming from these two select statements and how would I go about that that is done using union keyword so we have a select statement union then another select statement the only requirement here is both select statements should have the same number of columns and the data type should match too and here even the column names are matching which is good but that is not the mandatory requirement so number of columns and, and the data type should be the same for the results to be combined together so if I run this select statement now this is considered as one statement because we have a union keyword in between I see the list that I wanted to see now how about we want to see the same list but this time the courses should be ordered in ascending order of their name so let's go back to the SQL tab now keep in mind that you can use order by clause in set operations but order by clause has to come at the end of 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 the uh, all the statements because if we have a union keyword then both these statements are considered as one statement and order by clause has to come at the end here you can refer to columns by the sequence numbers like one comma two if you want to do the ordering by the name and if the name are same then by the description or you can use the column names but these column names can only be used as they are referred into the first select statement in our both select statements the names are same but that doesn't have to be the case I could have called course names as titles for online courses but I call them names so if for example here online courses were referred to were uh, given the column name as title rather than the name then this select statement will work but here if I want to use column names in the order by clause then I would have to use the name referred in the first select statement I can't use title here okay so let me change it back to the name and let's order the data by the name and if the names are same which will rarely be the case 
then order the those rows by the description in everything in ascending order so let's run the statement so here you can see the combined list which is good however keep in mind that SQL is a course that is appearing in both the tables but in this combined list it is appearing only once so when the system combined the two lists it removed the duplications duplications in terms of all the columns that were used in the select statement so duplications that were there in um, uh, in terms of the values of both the columns combined name and description those were removed so in other words if the description would was different in online course for the course SQL then what is specified in the table course then that will not be counted as a duplicate record because we would have a, a unique value in description column but since the title the name and the description were exactly the same for the SQL course in both tables course in online course so this record is appearing only once but if for some reason you do not want the system to remove the duplications when merging all the results together through uh, union clause uh, using the union keyword then you can use a special keyword called union all that means when the two results are merged together then duplications will be preserved so if I run this statement then we should be able to see SQL twice one coming from course table and another one coming from online course table 